in the earth. And we can actually see here the root structure. Okay. Wolfgang Busch and his team at the Salk Institute in San Diego are developing familiar crops like rice, canola, and wheat. In a sense, we are doing root races. We want to identify the genetic recipe to make bigger roots. Which will quite literally change the air we breathe. Plants are fascinating. They have evolved over billions of years the capacity to catch carbon dioxide from the air. And that's important because carbon dioxide in the atmosphere causes global warming. This complex work requires a mix of low-tech greenhouses, high-tech 3D imaging of root structures, x-rays, and even cutting-edge AI, mapping individual genes and then predicting how they'll grow. They nicknamed it Root GPT, and Salk researchers will use it to craft a specific genetic recipe for seeds. Above ground, it'll be the same corn, canola, or rice we eat today, but underground, the roots will grow deeper, hardier, and more resistant to extreme weather, like drought, heat waves, and flooding. You're gonna reduce the amount of the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, you're gonna increase the resilience of crops, and we're gonna make soils better. And so for the farmer, it's really no extra work, no extra change, they're just planting a different seed, and they get all these benefits from it. That's the thought. Salk's partner, Sequesta, will take the innovations from the lab to the farm. The company's already producing seeds in special greenhouses and started field testing certain crops in the Midwest. And eventually, they'll be able to calculate exactly how much carbon is being stored in the soil, for how long, and then sell that as carbon credits to companies working to offset their emissions. Farmers are generally struggling, and additional income generated from the value generated below the ground will provide additional income stream. Sequesta's founder thinks they can start rolling these crops out in as few as five or six years after a little more fine-tuning from the scientists at Salk. It would be a wasted opportunity if we wouldn't really try to harness, you know, the only machine, plants, the natural machine, that can draw down carbon dioxide at a very large scale and help us fighting the climate crisis. For NBC News Daily, I'm National Climate Reporter Chase Kane. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.